Hello and welcome to the Middle-Aged Encyclopedia. Myocardial infarction, angina pectoris, and arrhythmias are the most common causes of sudden cardiac death due to heart failure. Myocardial infarction occurs when a blood clot blocks an artery in the heart, cutting off blood flow to the muscle. Pain in the chest. Angina pectoris, is brought on by a brief decrease in blood flow to the heart, which can be brought on by conditions including atherosclerosis. After a heart attack, blood flow to the brain abruptly ceases, which can lead to permanent brain damage or even death. If you perform CPR right away when you have a heart attack, you can avoid the worst case, but if you miss the golden time, you will never wake up. Prodromal symptoms are reported by about 70% of heart attack patients days to months before the heart attack actually occurs. Today, I will tell you about the signs of a heart attack that unexpectedly arises one day. You should be worried about your heart if you experience any of the symptoms I've described. If you want to learn more about cardiac issues, stick around until the very end. Subscriptions and likes enable me to create better videos. 1. Dizziness and shortness of breath. In this context, dizziness means passing out or losing consciousness unexpectedly. If you experience dizziness and shortness of breath on the same day, it's best to rest and see a doctor as soon as possible. Loss of consciousness and heart irregularities like arrhythmia are possible outcomes of the combination of dizziness and shortness of breath. 2. Frequent fatigue symptoms. It may be a symptom of cardiac trouble if you feel tired even after getting enough of sleep. Although there are many potential causes of fatigue, persistent tiredness may indicate a heart malfunction if all other causes have been eliminated. 3. Nausea and vomiting symptoms. Nausea and vomiting are what many people cite as a precursor to a heart attack. Not only does this sign show before a heart attack, but it also appears during one. It is critical not to mix this symptom with food poisoning or other gastrointestinal illnesses, which sometimes go undiagnosed because they are misinterpreted as indigestion or having eaten the incorrect meal. Suspicion is warranted if dizziness and nausea persist without an obvious cause. 4. Chest pain. One of the most identifiable signs of a heart attack is chest discomfort. A sudden feeling of pressure and fullness in the center of the chest can be accompanied by a feeling of squeezing or pain. Some patients complained of feeling like an elephant was sitting on their chests, while others reported feeling like they were being stabbed or burned. It has been shown that many forms of chest discomfort occur often and fast in the minutes and seconds before a heart attack. 5. Pain in other areas of the body. Pain is not limited to the chest. It can radiate to the shoulders, elbows, back, neck, jaw, and stomach. It is important to use caution since, in really unusual circumstances, pain might spread to other areas of the body. Be on the lookout for indicators of anything more sinister if you're having pain that isn't the result of exercise-related muscular soreness. Pain in the upper arm, especially in the area around the chest, warrants careful attention. 6. Irregular heartbeat. Mood and environmental factors can cause temporary increases or decreases in your heart rate. However, an irregular heartbeat coupled with symptoms like a weak heartbeat, dizziness, or shortness of breath might be a warning sign of a heart attack. You shouldn't ignore an erratic heartbeat since it might mean heart disease or failure. 7. Shortness of breath. Asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, are both possible causes of shortness of breath that occurs unexpectedly, even when the sufferer is at rest. This symptom may also point to heart disease or heart failure. Chest discomfort and shortness of breath are common symptoms of a heart attack, but shortness of breath can also be a precursor to a heart attack. 8. Cold sweat symptoms. If you get chills and break out in a cold sweat while not being unwell or having a cold, or if you are still resting yet break out in a cold sweat, you should go to the hospital immediately. These signs arise soon before a heart attack. 9. Edema. Swelling can occur in several places on the body if blood circulation is impeded owing to cardiac dysfunction. A condition known as edema can develop as a result of fluid retention brought on by heart failure. The feet, ankles, or the abdomen often bloat up due to this. What sets it apart from other types of edema is that the degree of swelling caused by edema is noticeably severe. You require ongoing care and medicines because this might also be a sign of a heart attack. 10. Insomnia. 
Patients who have had heart attacks frequently have sleeplessness for up to a month before to the onset of the event. There are instances where you are unable to sleep due to heart palpitations, sadness, worry, and so on. These signs might point to psychological causes, however it is critical that you identify the root of your sleeplessness. Neglecting to take steps to reduce stress, for example, has been linked to an increased risk of heart attack. The study found that the risk of heart attack was increased by 13 times for those who were financially stressed and by 5.6 times for those who were stressed at work. Patients with depression also had a threefold increased risk of heart attack. 11. Symptoms that differ by gender. A team of researchers from the University of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom examined the symptoms of 1,941 individuals who visited the Royal Emergency Room in Edinburgh after suffering a heart attack. As a consequence, the likelihood of chest pain in patients with a heart attack was not statistically different between males and females, at 48% for males and 49% for females, and pain radiating to the left arm developed at a comparable rate in both males and girls. Men experienced 18% more frequent occurrences of upper stomach discomfort, back pain, or dyspepsia-like pain than women did. Women were 14% more likely than men to suffer pain that radiated to the jaw or back. Despite the common belief that women are less likely than men to have chest pain during a heart attack, the reality is that women actually experience greater chest pain than men do. Arteriosclerosis prevention should be a top focus for anyone looking to avoid a heart attack. You need to cut down on the fatty foods you eat daily and start exercising regularly. In order to effectively control symptoms and prevent complications, chronic illnesses like diabetes and hypertension must be managed. Minimizing stress and giving up cigarettes are two of the most important steps you can do. Knowing if a close relative had a heart attack before the age of 50 might help you avoid a premature death caused by inherited heart disease. Additionally, the survival percentage of those who have had a heart attack can be increased by more than three times with the use of CPR. CPR must to be started within five minutes of a heart attack, since the brain can only survive for approximately that long without oxygen. I discussed heart disease symptoms with you today. First, symptoms of dizziness and shortness of breath. Second, frequent fatigue symptoms. Third, nausea and vomiting symptoms. Fourth, chest pain. Fifth, pain in other body parts. Sixth, irregular heartbeat. Seventh, shortness of breath. 8th, symptoms of cold sweat. 9th, edema. 10th, insomnia. 11th, gender-specific symptoms. The symptoms of described are so familiar and hazy that they're easy to dismiss. If these symptoms arise simultaneously, please go to the hospital immediately and have a cardiac test. Leave a comment below to let us know if and how much this video has helped you. I'm waiting for you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching the video.